Greetings everyone and today we are going to here discuss about the electrophoresis. Hence, uh, first let us discuss about what is the term here. Electro means electric current, phoresis means the transmission. Electrophoresis is a process, uh, uh, it is a process, a biochemical process in which we determine the characteristics of a macromolecule by utilization of electrical current in such a manner that electrical current causes the transmission of the macromolecule within the electrolytic cell. Here as you can see in the diagram, this is an electrolytic cell. This electrolytic cell is just like a tray-like structure in which there are two uh, electrodes, cathode anode, cathode for negative and anode positive. And here, uh, uh, these are having two side plates, two side uh, salt solutions, uh, which act as buffer. Whereas, in between the electrolytic cell, there are two glass or plate, plastic plates, which uh, cause to make the electrolytic solution quite vicious. Now, within that electrolytic solution, the electrolytic solution is either utilized as agarose most of the time it is agarose which is obtained from which is obtained from leatherite or gracilium jellyrite or gracilium which is a type of red algae type of red algae known as jellyrite or gracilium and uh, how is it obtained it is obtained in such a manner that here uh, when uh, agar agar which is uh, polysaccharide agar agar is a polysaccharide which is obtained from the red algae uh, jellyrite and gracilium uh, jellyrite jellyrite and gracilium and as the agar agar is obtained, that agar agar is purified. It is purified as purification occurs. That agar agar being a polysaccharide is converted into agarose, which is a ketose monosaccharide, uh, which is then utilized in the process of electrophoresis. Now, agarose having a uh, example of here, agarose basically is a ketose hexose, and here uh, the gel is formed. There is a gel like structure of agarose is to be formed. And here, uh, this is uh, um, the agarose gel. Or on the other hand side, we are also having polyacrylamide. Polyacrylamide is also utilized in acrylamide. It is also used in this process. Rest. Uh, here, as you can see, in this diagram, uh, how is this? How does this work? This consists on a number of steps. First, it is isolation of DNA or any other component. For suppose we are taking DNA. Uh, a DNA or any other micromolecule, uh, mostly we utilize our DNA, RNA, or protein. So, here in order to take DNA, DNA is taken on three or four samples. Three or four samples of DNA are taken on several slots or bales which are kept inside the electrolytic cell. And uh, all now, for suppose, all belong to different species. So, first, isolation of DNA from the species source occurs. And as isolation occurs, then uh, that fragmentation of the DNA occurs, which means uh, DNA is broken down into smaller smaller pieces by uh, the help of an enzyme known as endonuclease uh, which is a restriction endonuclease obtained from a bacteria and by then it causes to the uh, restriction endonuclease causes restriction endonuclease causes to restriction endonuclease which is obtained from a bacteria which is used to break down the the uh, DNA, the several fragments, and that fragmented DNA is then loaded on this, loaded on the electrolytic cell over a slot. So suppose this is DNA one. This is a DNA of a second species. DNA of a third species, and we can add multiple depending on our feasibility. Here, uh, DNA uh, is a DNA of species one. 
species two and species three are present on the same uh, site. So in order to uh, identify different types of DNA, we utilize electrical current due to which the mo the macromolecules are classified on the basis of their molecular weight, the basis of their size, or the basis of their shape, or the basis of their charges, surface charges, whether they are positive or negative. In case of DNA, it is negative. DNA is negative due to presence of uh, phosphoric acid due to which DNA being negative, it uh, it uh, is supposed to be at the be at the negative terminal. Here it is at the negative terminal. Now, when the current is passed through the electro uh, electrolytic cell, then the DNA molecules start to move towards. DNA molecules are supposed to move towards the positive terminal because these are negatively charged. As they move towards the negatively charged, the molecule the DNA which is having the less molecular weight will move first. Uh, the which is having the less molecular weight will move faster. Why? Because uh, the solution which is present inside uh, here inside the electrolytic cell is a permeable solution, permeable matrix, which is sieve uh, effect containing solution. It is having sieving effects, which means it is having several pores inside it, due to which um, in order to penetrate it through the pore, the lesser the size of the molecule would be, the more would be the capability to pass through the pores quickly. Secondly, uh, more less the size, more will be the more faster or if there is less size of the molecule, then the quicker movement will occur through the pore or sieve within the electrolytic solution, apart from which uh, the second condition here involves Second condition here uh, in, uh, involves why is uh, molecular molecule with less size are moving faster, less size molecular having less molecular weight due to which they move faster. And secondly, as I previously told, that uh, sieve pores are quite smaller due to which smaller size molecules can pass through them fastly. So in that case, this is how it how uh, less molecules are having less molecular weight move faster, and vice versa. A large molecular weight containing more micromolecules uh, will move slower. So this is how uh, it works. And apart from this, uh, this DNA sample loading occurs. And in order to uh, gain, gain and understand, gain and see the pace of our reaction, we will, we are supposed to utilize staining, which is dependent on the type of material which we are going to use. Staining occurs in order to find uh, what kind of DNA is moving faster and slower. And uh, rest. Uh, this is a technique which is utilized in species identification as well as it is utilized in the process of paternity cases and criminal cases. It is utilized in that case. And, uh, and this is the complete process. Uh, hopefully, we will meet again in another one.